I saw one of them reasonably close up today. It was hunting not for me, I think. Bigger prey. I can tell you that it was fully as large as the stories say. I have now travelled to Likosov myself to see the worm pens. I am now quite certain that the worm, this temperamental beast of burden, is in fact the same animal as the dragon. Although the pen masters resisted my direct inquiries, I was able to find out a great deal more by subtle means. The key is suspendium, of course. In practice, the dragon's flame is hot enough even to burn through heavy fortifications. Of the ones we killed, most were pinned underneath ships by accident or destroyed by sustained, accurate fire. The crawling death, they call it. Great, glossy, black, eight-legged fiends, some small enough to creep between the rings of your mail, some large as a splayed hand and quick as a cat, and some, so they say, the size of dogs, or swine, or cart horses. The small ones are worse than the big ones. They swarmed the HMS Eagle, and within minutes it fell out of the sky screaming. Keep your distance, use bombs, use fire, or simply leave them be. Monstrous Terramex in the shape of giant man-eating nutcrackers. The brilliance of their inventor is only matched by her sadism. Having crew torn apart by them is horrifying, but as long as you feel their ships, it's the heavy Gatling guns you really have to worry about. These are men, they say, but I count them among the beasts. Some of them rose from common thieves, others deserted, ship and all, to start a more profitable venture than soldiering. All of them are cruel and rapacious, issuing forth from their lairs in the mountains and deep forests to prey upon common people. As their numbers swell, they think themselves little kings of their own domain and begin to make war in earnest, plundering towns and cities, burning to the ground what they cannot carry off. Pirates have their own crude tradition of flags and symbols. Here the assumed arms of the pirate king, John Winter. The hourglass is a symbol of death. This imitation of real heraldry is meant to imbue these rogues with a semblance of legitimacy where there is none. Some young ladies with their heads stuck in novels may sigh at the idea of a dashing pirate captain, but any good sailor will tell you the reality is quite different. Pirate ships tend to be small and outdated, but it is their ferocity in boarding combat that is most to be feared. Bring plenty of seasoned troops, and not a dram of mercy. The task of classifying the dangers of our world is ongoing. Dragons were once thought to be myths, but have proven all too real. Rumours of dragon tamers may yet turn out to be true as well. Massive aerial krakens have been spotted from afar, but have found no credible reports of them attacking. This may yet change, as more powerful sustendium engines lift chips ever higher up into the air, disturbing these giants of the sky 